Hello and welcome to the University of Jamestown News. I am Jacob Strauss. Well, another day has passed and it's October 23rd and Halloween is right around the corner. And if you're old enough, there's going to be a Duck Dynasty party at IDK this weekend. Come out and join in the fun on Saturday. The Jimmy football team takes on the team to the east, and if you don't know who that is, it's Valley City. So come out and see us take back the paint bucket. On other news, when you think people couldn't get any dirtier to do, people are selling their food stamps on Craigslist and eBay in places like Atlanta and New Jersey. And I ain't whistling Dixie when I say that 50 million Americans are on the food stamp program, which has exploded over the last five years, more than doubling the cost to the taxpayers. Since 2008, the cost of SNAP has more than doubled from $34 billion to $74 billion, a press release that the Obama administration has allowed food stamp enrollment to explode, even beyond what an economy might account for, in part by not pressing states to crack down on eligibility requirements. Well, now back to the White House. The government shutdown is dead, and the Obamacare is alive. Wednesday night, they reopened the federal government and raised the nation's borrowing limits. Hours before the Treasury Department faced the possibility of being unable to pay all of America's bills for the first time in modern history. Now for your funny news. A man in Philadelphia was at work one day and went to take his lunch break when he went to the company-owned refrigerator where he had a Jell-O brand strawberry Jell-O snack he found was stolen from him. He immediately called the police. The police say a 39-year-old victim was angry because it wasn't the first time someone had stolen his food. So far, police say the thief hasn't been caught. Please say in a news release that the case remains under investigation. Just when you think you got it all, got it all, a warship is now for sale in Britain. Weighing in at 22,000 tons and 210 meters long is now taking bids. The only downfall is that if you buy it, part of it has to stay in Britain. But there's a loophole. They didn't say size or what part. So float on over the gap they call the ocean and make your bid. Now for your weather. If you haven't been outside, you know it's colder than a witch's tit in a brass bra. The temperature for today is high of a 39 and low of a 27. It's going to be cloudy and a chance of snow. That means get your big jacket out. That's all for today's news. Thanks for having me. I'm Jacob Strauss and stay classy, Jamestown.